Hey, watch lovers, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I'm excited to share with you a new Breitling Top Time model. Just got this one in stock, not a limited edition. This looks like it's gonna be part of their Top Time um, collection moving forward. And this is the Deus Ex Machina edition. And I hope I uh, said that correctly. I know last time I, uh, I got a little bit of heat for, <laughs> for saying, uh, I think I said Deus Machina. Um, and someone pointed out that I really butchered that, so hopefully I said it correctly this time. Uh, this model is definitely more conservative than the last one I reviewed. The last one I had in was the sky blue or the baby blue dial, which I really thought the color on that was fantastic. Um, this one just certainly more conservative with the, uh, the black and the red accents, but uh, again, I think very well done. Let's get the specs out of the way. I measured uh, diagonally across the case here above the crown at 41.1 millimeters. So pretty true to size, 41 millimeters. And then I measured the crystal itself here. We do have a nice domed crystal at 36.4. So uh, very good um, viewing underneath that crystal. And I will say, while the, the crystal itself is rather large, because of the way the tachometer bezel, everything in there, or the chapter tachometer, it's kind of chaptering in there, it certainly does not, I don't think, look um, or wear any larger than the 41 millimeter case indicates. 13.6 millimeters thick, 50.1 millimeters lug tip to lug tip. We have a 20 millimeter lug width on this calf scan, kind of perforated. Uh, I won't quite call it a rally style strap, but uh, I think it fits the watch very nicely. Uh, and that tapers down to 18 here uh, at the deployant clasp. We do have twin push trigger or push button release on that. And then underneath we have the exhibition case back with the lovely Breitling Caliber B01 in-house chronograph movement. 70 hours of power reserve. We have a signed non-screw down crown offering us 100 meters of water resistance. And on this leather strap, it weighed 98.4 grams. This watch retails for eight thousand dollars and i will say just looking at the the matte black dial and the uh, hour markers just has a to me has a much greater vintage feel or vibe than some of the other uh, top time models that have been released um, again i like it quite a bit the uh lightning bolt chronograph seconds hand you have to look closely to see it is the lightning bolt but as you get further away you really can't even notice it. It looks just like a red chronograph seconds hand. So I do like uh, just a little bit of detail on that. Um, you can see here too, you're constantly running seconds hand at nine o'clock. Um, is looks like the ro rhodium plated hand. And then the 30 minute counter in red, 12 hour counter in red. Let's take a look at the chronograph itself. I do like the hand set that is used here as well. Again, I just think it's a really nice kind of classic look. Um, the sub dials, I believe are what Breitling calls squircle, um, not square, not circle. So kind of in between there. So um, I think they look great as well. Overall, I think it looks great. Um, I, I will admit I did like the, the baby blue, but I also understand that version that if that's gonna be your only watch, uh, you certainly may not uh, want just that color. So let me throw this on. Again, I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. And let me hit the lights for you real quick, give you a quick loom shot. As always, if there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, shoot me an email, brad at brentlmiller.com. Always happy to help out. Thanks for viewing, and we'll see you in the next video.